Of course we're making a report. Of course, at a library. What the fuck are we gonna report at a library? Hey, look, there's books. Okay, that's it for the report. Thanks for being this here. This is the checkout desk. <laughs> hey, All right, hello there. I'm Scarecrow J, and welcome back to another episode of Michigan Report from Hell. Um, I think we're going to rescue someone now. I think. Seems like we always are rescuing people. What the fuck? So they locked the poor guy up. That's going way too far. I a really good for. news team apparently. I bet he Bring was this fired. one away in the van. What are you talking about? Here's what I think. After the chief assignment, we're on our way to the him or transfer him or library. something, and he wouldn't go along with it. Yeah. And then what? On, on the pretext of Henrik having him library concentrate built in on gathering data without being disturbed, they shut headquarters him up in the library research room still fix ever, but at least it isn't stormy hours. anymore. They were hoping he would get fed up with it and quit on his own. I thought it was just a rumor, we more but it we looks like the, the company really was doing that sort of thing. That's outrageous. We'd better do a really good report this time. I don't want anything like that happening to us. And I want to get out of Chicago safely. Yeah. Outside I the mean, library. Look, we're almost at the library. You know, we plan to free our detained colleague and make a report. Of course we're making a report. Of course, at a library. What the fuck are we gonna report at a library? We don't have any recent info on the library, not even if there are monsters or not. For now, on. From now Three, on. Two, one. I have to do our Good own evening, research. Everyone. This is Anne Anderson. I'm reporting to you from in front of the Von Erich Library. Our news team has remained behind here in the city, still covered in a mysterious fog, to bring you the news. According to information just in, there's a man still here at the library who was shut up and left behind in a research room. We're about to go in and rescue him. Risco Anderson and I. Oh, and Anderson. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what are you going to report here? Inside the Von Erich Library. There's no sign of anybody around. The staff have all presumably evacuated. We're going to try and find the research room where the man is reportedly being held. Hey, look, there's books. Okay, that's it for the report. Thanks for being this here. This is the checkout desk. <laughs> hey, this is where books would ordinarily be borrowed from the library. <laughs> As you can see, there's no one here now. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> this is common sense. Of course it's a... F uh. Why do you need to report that? What the fuck? <laughs> As you can see, the library's interior is dim. The shelves are lined with row upon row of neat, orderly books. <laughs> no shit. It's deadly okay. quiet yeah. here. This doesn't make sense. Here Why? are stairs that lead to the basement. <laughs> Why Let's just go and see what it looks like, shall we? This isn't reporting. This is describing fucking... Oh, okay. Ordinarily, Ordinary. this library would be bustling with many, many visitors. We're in a segment. I can't move on. Today, however, it's empty. I missed stuff up there too, that kind of pisses me off. You better go back up there, Ann. It's a large space. There don't appear to be any books in here. This room must be used for no some books. other purpose. What the fuck am I looking at? Wait, what are these? You don't see anything that looks useful. They look like fucking books to me, Ann. Lock is broken. Can't get in. Hold on, Ann. Let me look around a little bit. Secrets? Okay. What do we have here? It seems to be a book research terminal. Oh, it's I don't working. Understand. Something has appeared on the screen. But what's showing on the monitor? 
That's not a book research terminal. It's a security camera monitor. A really weird place to have a security well, camera monitor. What a surprise. What appeared at first glance to be a research terminal was actually a surveillance system. It seems every room in the library can be observed right here on this monitor. This just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why would they be reporting on stupid shit like this? Okay. Oh, I'm actually in the camera. That's interesting. No, that's all normal. Quit surveillance system, okay. What is that? Oh, it's a key. Look, there's something there. I, I looked at what that stool too, be? and fucking. It's so small, I can't tell. E. What do you mean? That's a three. Look at the way those shelves are arranged. Isn't that a little unnatural? Yeah, they're fucking red. They painted the tops of them for some reason. Okay. Do I switch cameras again? Oh fuck. I should have paid more attention. Okay, there we go. Oh! There's somebody there! There's a man in the small room at the back. Could this be the man that was locked in? He appears to be afraid of something. Like he's Jones in. The fucking drug addict. That's why they have him here. <laughs> Look, kid. there's something written on the wall. Is M? That's just alphabet order, isn't it? So E would be five, seven. Yeah, that's right. Because A would be one. Yeah, it's alphabet. Alphabet equals numbers, you know, the order of the alphabet. So E, E would be five. Okay, we're collecting a number for some reason. So we have three, and E is five. Okay, I can look at the clock. Can I look at, no, just, just clock. There's something strange about that clock. Yeah, it's texture is fucking broken. It looks broken. like it only has an hour hand. The and time is slightly off, too. Could it be stopped? That's nine, right? Yeah, XI or IX would be nine. Okay, so we have... We have three, five, nine. Three, five, nine. That, I think that's all the cameras. Okay. Get, get out of here. Can you hear me? This is Ann Anderson of Zaka TV. Can you hear me? Don't worry. We've come to get you out of there. If I heard that on the other side of the if door, I would think it's a fucking please monster. Answer me. Like that SCP in a it's SCP no containment use. breach that I mimics human voices. Can, hear me. can you hear me? We're coming to rescue it's you. It's an electronic lock. It won't open. And it needs a code, yeah. Well, she's going back up for the key, I think. Would be my guess. I haven't seen a locked door yet, though, so I don't know what they're at. Oh, a step ladder. Go up and get that key. They must use it for getting books down from the top shelves. I think I can use it to get what we saw on top of the shelves. The number over there. Eight. Eight is there. Oh, I can I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stoop to get those E points, okay. I know it was very obvious, but it's not happening. Hmm. It's a key. I wonder if it goes no. to a door in the library. Found. Might have been us moving around. I thought I heard like wings. Two Hopperman huts. The note. Oh, it is. Please contact them by Friday. It says the note doesn't look like it will be very useful to you. Okay. Doesn't seem like it'd be useful. 
The old books on the shelves give off a faintly musty odor. <laughs> it's that smell unique to libraries. <laughs> You're really commenting on the smell of books? <laughs> Can't believe the shit. Look, why did... <laughs> I wonder what the second floor looks like. Let's go and see, shall we? I shouldn't be even questioning this anymore. Like... This game is just gonna have stupid shit in it. That's just how it works. This is the three shelf. Hey, there's something on the floor. It's a videotape. Let's pick it up. What is that? Is that a monkey? Monkey toy? I got a videotape. Where is that coming from? Oh. On the book. It's floating? Why was I hearing a monkey clapping noise? <laughs> fucking straight out of fucking Call of Duty Black Ops. In zombie mode. Throwing a monkey to distract the goddamn zombies. Okay, we're just being abducted by aliens, it's fine. So that noise indicates. Whatever. Can you want? It opened. It looks like this is the door that the key belonged to. Keys. I wonder Probably what this servers. room's for. It seems to be a perfectly ordinary room. There's a desk. And a few other things here and there. Imagine, imagine you go outside. There's fucking monsters all over the place. Or, or no, 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 no. Okay. A more recent, uh, more recent example would be there's fucking protesters outside. The world is on like fire outside in a bunch of towns because of people being upset. And you go tune into your news being like, oh, they're going to be reporting about that, obviously. And they're fucking reporting about a library. They're inside a library and just describing the environment inside the library. <laughs> that would blow my fucking mind. There's some kind of note. Answer to the equation. Date on the calendar. The arrangement of the bookshelves. Oh shit. Hold on, hold on. What's that noise? Read that again. It says... Answer the equation. Oh, okay, so that was E. That's 5, 8, 3, I think it was 9. Okay, we're good. We have the code. No, stop looking at the fucking... Oh my god, the music is looping. I think the music is looping with the, itself. Yeah, there's multiple tracks going on. I, I just make this worse and worse. Maybe it's not looping. It wasn't, okay. My imagination. That's just how the music sounds. What, what's on the computer? Dear D. Another one of these, huh? I can't believe what happened. I think I've been taking this whole thing a little too lightly. Now, something, something. But your words of encouragement have helped me. Thank you, from M. Okay. Go out and unlock that door for that dude. Oh shit. Do it, Am. Shoot him! Shoot him! And. Oh my god. Boom. Boom. More? Yeah, there is. Keep on shooting, lady. Quick save. Come on, let's go. You got him. Okay. Hey, wait! Wait for me! <laughs> Finally some goddamn entertainment on this show. Not just a library, actual fucking monsters now. Okay. 
If I did this correctly. Okay, so it's five, eight, three, nine. Oh. It opened. Oh, my big Let's go brain. In. Big brain. Mr. Time. Buckland, are you all right? Guys, oh. <laughs> I'm Ann Anderson, a Zaka TV reporter. Oh, uh, Ann, I don't think he's all right. Rescue you. Ann, uh. He's been killed. Another monster, maybe? Look! Over there! From the vents, Jesus it's Christ. It's an air vent. A monster must have gotten in through there and attacked this guy. The worst has happened. A monster. It seems a monster found its way inside here. Zaka TV News did our best to get him as quickly as we could. But unfortunately, when we arrived, he had already been killed in the horrible way you see here. The monster probably came in Good old through that Logan Paul bit, here. killed the man, and then vanished. Our news team is now in to danger, to too. I think we'd better leave this place at once. I'm Ann Anderson, reporting to you from the Von Eric Library. There has to be rules about, like, okay. not reporting that dead bodies on the news, right? I like, just hope be really the chief likes up. it. Oh, I bet she will. What with the gross footage and all. Gross footage at the Wait, library? Look, there's a notebook on the floor. Let's get this on camera, too. What is this? Let me see. I guess 20 this is going to be a diary. Oh, God, voice crack. I've been locked up. Tomorrow, the 24th is the day I'm supposed to go to Club Gachi. Got to get out of here. I've got to meet Dr. O'Connor, or my whole plan will be ruined. The poor guy. Did he die because he knew too much? There's something written under today's date. He was supposed to meet a Dr. O'Connor at Club Gochi today. I wonder who this Dr. O'Connor is. I don't know, but I think it's a safe bet. He knows the truth behind this fog and the monsters. Why would you extrapolate so you go that? There? Of course, let's go. It's a huge scoop. That's a pretty big step, I would say. Like, is it just because he's a doctor, you just assume, oh yeah, that's the dude. That's the dude who knows everything about this. What if it was just his fucking friend? Or what if it was just his, like, fucking... His, like, prostate doctor? <laughs> why, why does it have to be the man responsible or some shit? Oh my god. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying to break it down. It's probably not. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm probably just pointing out, like, obvious shit in here. I think we all know the story is a little wonky. Uh, it's pretty obvious at this point that most of it doesn't make sense, but. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, safe, su successful. We're gonna go ahead and end it here. I actually like that little puzzle. That was fun. I like solving puzzles in games like this. Even though it's pretty damn easy, I have to say. <laughs> pretty damn easy. Okay. Well, anyways, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like and comment below. If you want to see more of my stuff, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, once again, I'm Scarecrow J, and thanks for watching.